These nine xylophone mallets are divided into three different categories. There's the whimsical, the lighter, smaller uh, mallet. There's also the more classic sounding mallet, the little blues, royal purple, and the classic gray. And then there's also an interesting set of mallets made of rosewood. We call them wood on wood or the WOW series, if you will. And they fall into two discs, a large disc, a small disc, and also a barrel-shaped uh, core as well. I was interested in pursuing this sound, and Innovator was interested in pursuing the sound, the idea of wood on wood. There's just something about the sound of, of a wood mallet on a, on a wood surface, so wood against wood. Um, there are a lot of challenges with that, making a, a wood on wood because of uh, the variety of woods there are and the possibilities. But I think you're going to find that the dimensions of these woods and the way we've designed the, um, the disc and the barrel will um, give you some interesting possibilities. In the wood mallet, um, I really like the shape and feel of the barrel. Um, rosewood mallet, which I thought was going to be the biggest and most husky sound. It ends up being pretty quick in the hands. It has a great balance. Um, and is a, a big sound. It's a, it's a little brighter than I had thought it was going to be. Whereas the large disc, because of the, the, uh, the shape of the, uh, the mass, um, is actually has a little bit more bottom. It has a, it's a little heavier mallet. It's, it doesn't jump off the bar quite as much, but I found it to be very useful um, in, in orchestral things that we need, we need a certain amount of power for. And of course, there's always the small little rosewood disc, which is very quick, quick and almost a little chirpy um, on the instrument. Consider how you use it carefully because of the chirpiness and the brightness of it. Um, it, though, also within the wood uh, series, ends reminding us of the playfulness that we need to be able to have on this instrument. playfulness, seriousness, all of these types of things um, have to do very much with how these sticks react in our hands, how they feel when we play on the instrument. And I'm really excited because I think these nine um, mallets are great tools for doing all of the expressions that we need to do on the xylophone. Biggest challenge on the xylophone is probably uh, is playing note lengths. It has a tendency to be dry and very digital and very um, a very lonely note sometimes in a phrase. figure out how to play longer lines, how to play phrases. So the ability to play notes longer or give the impression of them being longer um, are required skills for anybody playing the xylophone, but they're also asked for and required by composers. whether it be Copeland asking for articulations in Appalachian Spring or exotic birds having various articulations. Those are up to us and the stick in our hand. We're the ones that are creative and the great balance in these sticks, I think, will enhance the sounds and length of notes and articulations you can get on the xylophone. I really hope you enjoy them. I'm, I've, it was, it's been two years of, of, of work, um, of consideration, um, they, they do fit very nicely into the repertoire requirements. Um, consider the application of pieces that you're going, to have, you're going to see in some of the demonstrations, little bits, little parts, just to give you an idea of how the mallet might work, but also in the kind of spirit that, and liveliness that I think this instrument, this character instrument, should, um, should hold in the um, keyboard world. So I hope you enjoy these sticks. They're a pleasure to do. Thank you.